man. All right, guys, we are back at it once again. Uh, before we get going and our continue on with the building our web app, I'd like to do a quick shout out to our latest course, the 100 Front End Interview Questions Challenge, one of the best sellers in front end web development, which is something I'm very particularly proud of. Seems a lot of you guys are getting value out of it. It's helped prepping you for those front end technical screens. You can get it for just $9.99 in the description below. Use coupon code Conan God. All that good stuff. So let's uh let's get going. Oh man. Alright, so I've been going back and forth on how I want to do this playlist versus how I want to do this thing, all this other stuff, and I'm a little bit I don't know if stuck's the right word. I'm not stuck, but I haven't fully decided what it is that I'm trying to do, I guess. Um, well, we're going to work on it. Watch that. I'll take this over here. Last time we were building a uh, contact form which I will finish up later, but we were only building it because our server was down because Heroku had some sort of attack or something. I don't really know what happened. But let's go to refresh. Cool. So hopefully this is all working again. It might take a second for the server to spin up because no one's been on it for a while. All right, cool. So spun up. And what we're going to try and do is when you click on this, it's going to take you to the right page, right? As it's doing. But we want this to update dynamically. Like uh, this. So let's change the page. So essentially what we want to do is keep the keep this here, make this video update, and then whatever content goes down below it, update it. And so we have a couple, um, a couple minor things that we need to take care of. Um, how are we going to get there? Not quite sure yet. But we will. Um, just go views. Um, any advice for preparing for interviews? Yeah, man. Um, get something on that resume. Get some uh, certificates. Get some projects. Get some volunteer. Start networking. All that sort of stuff. I mean, just do the same things that I did that helped me get my foot in the door. All right, so we are in our documentation. Now let's talk, a little, let's get down to where we were at. So we have our views, it's documentation, our routes. Okay. So first thing is topic, topic component. You have detail component. So what we want to do is we get to our detail. And we're going to refresh this. And then we want to update our video component. That's what we want to do. So, so first thing we need to do for our detail component is update the header. So. You see how our header didn't update here? Let's start there. Go in order. Things we've already solved. Issues we've already solved. Where we have a header service. Cool. All right. This will be so here we have our detail 
and then this will actually be detail. And we'll pass in a detail and then import our header class and then unwrap our detail and then our categories category simple ID All right, so I th think this will do what we wanted to do. This uh, date header, we're gonna pass. So we go here, we go here, then we go here. Interesting. Ooh. A little bit of an issue here. Let me show you a little bug in the way that I architected this. So that works. That works. That works. Minus that we have to fix this ID. But when we refresh, that doesn't work. Why doesn't that work? Well, <laughs> it's because we're firing off two updates of our header service. So what we need to do is we go category component. So let's console.log this dot category. Because we're always gonna hit our category component It's not our category that's updating, it's our um, topic component that's updating. Did I forget to call the header? No, I did. I call it. All right. So we're getting the snapshot. Just gonna do a little bit of debugging. So, God, I don't like my solution anymore. So there's our route. So what we can do is if this dot children, this dot route dot children dot length, if that's false, meaning there's no children, go ahead and update it, else don't. This should work. I'm not sure why that's not firing off. Let me see. I don't need that for anything. Are we? Let's just see if this is firing off because I don't think it is. And I want it to. So it fires off. Fires off, clear. When I go back, it doesn't fire off. Uh, why aren't 
get you firing off. This isn't firing off either. Oh, that might just be because I didn't have one or the other. But. Uh, I might have shot myself in the foot and made this more complicated than I needed it to be. Let's try something different. So I think if we update our life cycle hooks, that maybe that will. So. Okay. So let's go to the, on the topic level here.
All right, let's try this. Actually, let's try this. Alright. Shit, that might have been what I should have done instead. Alright, so let's let's start right here. Let's just Clear this, refresh. All right, cool, we got that. Cool. Go to arrays. In our array, we have paths topic, path array, parameters, parameter map, paren. It says there's no parameters. So. If we go to pad end, so here we have Let me try something different real quick. I think I made this way more complicated than I need to. And now it's shooting myself in the foot because of it. I mean, really, what if I just did this? <sighs> what if I got rid of this? What if I got rid of the detail service? I got rid of the header service. I just built the page.
think I'm going to simplify some of my stuff right now. Part of the issue is that I'm treating this as a child, and it really isn't. I originally thought this was the right path to go down, and then I just realized I was wrong. So, JavaScript arrays. That's all working. All right, now what I want to see is if I go to my topic component, dot ts, also dot log topic. Good old bugs. I over engineered this, I think. But I think I'm going to I think I'm going to be deleting a whole bunch of code pretty soon. I'm not sure. Don't quote me yet though. Okay, so if I do this, we're on a topic, then we're on a detail, but we hit detail, we hit topic, we hit detail, we hit topic. Okay, so you see how it's not firing off both? Because there's a child route, it was firing off both. See how this isn't updating? So I'm pretty sure if I do this now, what we were doing before, this should fix it. All right, I think that'll work. There we go. Cool, working as expected. Go here, refresh. Cool, it's because it's not child wrap. We did it, boys. Uh, <laughs> Bugarino solved Arena. It does mean that we're going to reload the playlist from a array. I think that's fine. It's not ideal. All right, so what we need from this is a, we got the detail ID, so. Hey Dylan, after grinding hard the last 10 months, I've received my first ever paycheck working as a developer. Good for you, man. Congratulations. Uh, 
Emily will have a topic. Simple. Yeah. And we have a detail. Simple. All right. So so far, we go. We have a. We'll replace this one by one as we get them. And we have a detail ID. Cool, there is that. Everything should still work as anticipated. Line 26. Cool. And you can see it slots between them a little bit better now. All right, cool. So the next thing that we need to do, we got the detail, we got the topic. So, then we throw our topic ID in there. Everything should work just fine now. Bam, filter, hair cat, nice. All right, so now that we've done that, we have to figure out how to get the um, category ID. So, uh, Adib, how much you making, man? You how much? How what pay increase? Because I imagine you're getting a, a new, a new pay increase, which is always exciting. Um, it's always exciting to be in a better financial situation. All right, so. Let's see, per parent activated or at. Let's try it. Let's see what happens when I do this. Do I need the whole route? How can you strengthen your problem solving skills? I mean, interview questions, should we practice? Practice is always great. Building something, getting stuck, solving it. Uh, my two courses are designed both for that. One is specifically for front end. One is specifically to prep you for those algorithm problems. Doing those, you would have gone through 200 plus problems. That will help you practice. 
you can get that for 10 bucks in the description below but really just practice and building things struggling through it topic ID detail ID all right but I want the category ID You know, we already have topic ID. So we need a detail ID and topic ID already. Comment that out. So that should still work just fine. Cool. All right. Now I wonder, I wonder if maybe I could do this. What if I did this category ID? I can. That makes it easy enough. Still works. Still works. Still works. Still works. There we go, boys. Got it. Yeah, man, uh, the 100 algorithm challenge has 100 algorithms and works you through them. The 100 front end interview uh, questions challenge is 100 plus interviews questions. Do I ever add e commerce to my applications? Stripe, PayPal Pro? There's PayPal integration for donations in this application. There'll also be a um, Patreon integration, but. Um, this is going to be something that's free, so um, other than making money off ads, there's not an intent to sell anything as part of the application right now. I could change in the future, but at this time, I don't, I don't think so. So before we move forward, let's do a little bit of a update here.
Excuse mm -hmm. me. Alright, so we're going to add a video here. So let's start there. Alright, so we're in views, documentation, views, detail component, dot ts. Detail service. So that is going to go So we have, a, we have a video ID. Yeah, I messed up these routes. This will be something we'll have to fix in the future. Okay, but first thing we want to do is add add our uh, video. We do have the ID, so go into here. We can get rid of the app header. We already have that updating. Uh, it's gonna be. Detail dot video ID and let's see how that works out. Okay, so first thing we need to do do the detail container. Whew. I think we can get rid of almost all of this. This looks outdated. All right, let's start here. See how it looks. There we go. So, let's go and ha add a playlist. All right, now that we've done that. To her. Let's see. We'll see what happens there in a second. So, Okay. <laughs> D 
Did I never actually throw this in here? <laughs> it's like it works. Topic simplified. Cool. Category simplified. All right, works. Cool. So, I'm still having the same issue where I'm going to hit this playlist more than once. I don't really want to do that. So, I come up with a good solution. And originally, what I was thinking was having, like, a playlist component. So, you'll see we have our routes here. We always load our category component. Or our documentation component, I should say. Down. Although we're going to have a service worker in here, so it's not really going to matter because it's just going to retrieve what we have. All right. We'll do that for now. Man. All right, all right. For now, we'll we'll do this. So, all right. So,
Oh, there we go. It's the only issue. Here. And this will be solved with the service worker in production. But we fire off a similar call that we don't need to every time we change back and forth. So I'm not a huge fan of this solution. It's actually not changing the route either. And yeah, well, it's a, for an alpha, it's an acceptable solution. Even if I'm not super happy with it for pre-alpha. I told myself I needed to get something out pretty soon, so I'm trying not to harp on, on some of these things that I normally would. All right, so now that we've done that, we need to go back to the detail component on HTML. Is that not updating the route like we would expect? <laughs> I think I've had this issue before. Router link not updating URL. Loop params. So maybe this has to be part of the main router. Oh, cannot match any routes. That makes more sense.
So before. So one of the issues that we were having with our router link was that um, this we had the same issue with breadcrumbs. see here so I don't want to do this. So we're using it in two spots, right? So currently we just hard coded it to be this. But let's bring up our topic component. Think about this for a second. So up script tease that's quite the name man all right so if we uh so i think we could solve this with a simple input for how we're doing things <laughs> where we say Right, let's trust try this real quick. So at input public next out piece. Alright, so if we go here and instead of putting detail like so, we'll just put next route piece. And if we go to our topic component, go here, next route piece, detail. All right, so this, oh, and that should work as anticipated, but now it's going to blow up because okay. so, but now it's thinking of going to just a filter where if we were to do this in our topic component, or excuse me, our detail component, what happened to my music? And 
just uh, we passed in something like this. There we go. Cool. That takes us here. Well then, I think that works. Nice. Very nice. All right, cool. Let's remove these console logs, fix a bunch of tests. Is it okay for you to move on to React? Yeah, I encourage people to jump into frameworks early on. As long as you understand fundamentals of JavaScript, you understand um, arrays, objects. Um, I would also recommend just, re so like one great thing about this course, you know, it's designed to help you with interview questions is it goes over a lot of the fundamentals based JavaScript questions I ask candidates. So that I can, s so you can see where you're at. Cool, I think that will solve it. So that, I mean, it will solve it. Uh, Alright, we're going to start with the detail component. Close all this. So, now typically you wanted to do this as you go. I did a very poor job of that because I started freaking out because my server was down. I couldn't figure out why. That's all right. So, there's one dependency. Next dependency is details surface so let mock details service of site mock detail service hey Craig how's it going man Now, if you can believe it, and I pretty much can't, and this this test is no longer relevant. Good to see you. Good to see you too, sir. Um, but if you can believe it, I um. All right, cool. So that fixed that. Um. <laughs> And you know what? We actually have reached the pre, 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 pre alpha of the application uh, to where 
that's everything I wanted to do to build out the documentation page <laughs> for the most part. And now we have to get to recording content. Now I still have to build other pages and everything like that, <laughs> but we, uh, and I have to do some tests here. I think this is the command. Just want to see where our, I think so if I remember correctly, the code dash coverage will actually output our code coverage. You can see that. Any reason not using test, but yeah, I'm not testing the UI, so there's no reason to do it. Um, Testbed's relatively fragile. And in, if you plan on testing the UI, it's definitely worth going through using the testbed. If you do not, then you shouldn't be doing such things. Um, that's all. All right, um, cool. Doesn't look like it generated the code coverage stuff. Am I ever coming back to California? No. I get um, job interviews all the time. Uh, PlayStation was interested in me working out there. I just don't have any interest in ever, 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 fucking ever going back to California. <laughs> Am I missing something? That looks like that was right. All right. You know, maybe I did NPM test and then pick it up. I'll do it this way. Yeah. No, they, uh, they just won't pay me enough. Yeah, I was trying to refresh it. I think, um, I think I did NPM test. And yeah, yeah. So see, I did, uh, this is why I didn't get it. See, I did NPM test. It just f flew this off. I didn't get the code coverage. Yeah, but uh, it doesn't make financial sense to go to California when they won't pay me enough to cover it. Okay, so you can see my test coverage has gone down, which is unfortunate. Uh, <coughs> but that's the reason I ran this, because I knew that was going to be the case. So if we go to our coverage and we um, open in a browser here, we can see exactly where our problem children are. And... Uh, where we're going to get going and where things are, where we can fix all that. So that's what we're going to tackle right now. So let's start with... Uh, basically, we're going to get everything in the green. Um, all right, let's go ahead and start with our view details uh, folder. Cause that's, that's where a lot of this is. And we can get these numbers up here in a second. Yeah, I I had a so Cisco wanted to interview me, and I'm you know I'm interested in working with tech companies, so so I I take the call, and they're like, yeah, you know, well we compensate for the you know the cost of living in San Francisco. I say, cool. I make about one thirty. What's you know when you say compensate, what does that mean? All right, what is what is the compensation? And they go, well, we can do like 160 plus uh, some bonuses and benefits. I'm like, first off, that's not compensating at all. You're actually offering me less money in my pocket for the cost of living. So why are we even having this conversation? So compensating would probably be so somewhere closer, assuming I had no interest in buying property, to 250 to 275. So all these people who are staying in, uh, 
who are staying in um, California and think they're making money as developers, they're, they're, uh, they're mistaken. Can't read property parent of undefined. Yeah, it's it's a it's a little bit of a joke, uh, California, and not all California is super expensive, like you know. Um, but <laughs> dude, some of it. Oh my god! All right, so we need to go to our mock activated route and update it. Prams dot of. So our tests are blowing up. So we need to just expand. And while we're here, let's just go ahead and focus this file. Like, I would go back if it made any sense to go back. Does that make sense? It just doesn't make any sense. All right, params. Yeah. Alright, so then we have so here uh we'll do this dot we'll have a parent I'll type any make this public and in here Actually, this needs to be route. Type any, and in here, then we'll have a parent. And parent will have a snapshot. Snapshot will we'll have a git param map. And this will have some value. And what will return. Our, what? Good, a oh, good param map will have value. If you have zero knowledge of coding, should you go to a boot camp? No, you should first. Uh, you should you should definitely go ahead and um, figure out what it is that you actually want to do. So, like in the sense of, let me rephrase it. You should go. You should go and learn if this is even something for you. That's what you should do. I'm getting rid of this. Get rid of this. The whole tech lead thing. I haven't been following it, but people seem to be really upset about this. I don't blame them, but. Alright, params dot subscribe. Are we actually hitting this right here? Console dot log. Here's the thing. If you work at a company that doesn't want you to moonlight, it's a fucking shitty company. It's one thing if, like, oh, well, we don't want you to... What? It's one thing if... Uh, sorry, I'm trying to figure out why my thing's blowing up. Oh, I know why it's blowing up. 
Um, but it's one thing if you're working in a business that directly competes, but I, as an employee, that does not, inc- if you are not entitled to run my life as an employee, that's what I don't like about these no moonlighting policies. And if I got fired for that, and I'm sure tech lead feels the same way. He's like, he's more successful than he ever was because of what he was moonlighting doing. Which is why you always have to look out for number one. Uh, okay, so... One second. I know... I think I might have to do this. Find in folder of... understand what I'm doing wrong here. Alright, first off, let me just do a few tests. Good to, uh, cheating developers, dude. It's it's true, man. People think I'm joking with how dog shit the majority of developers are, but the mo- majority of developers have cheated their way to wherever they're at. They don't enjoy it. They just do it for a paycheck. That's fine. You don't want to enjoy it. That's cool. You don't have to enjoy it. All right, cool. So we fixed some of these things. Can I read property snapshot of undefined? So we're moving forward now. All right, so <laughs> all right, so mock activated route cannot read property snapshot of undefined so. So we're getting there, this dot route, parent. Hey man, it's, it's okay to look forward to paychecks. It just ain't gonna carry you, you know what I mean? All right. I was looking forward to paychecks too for a very long time. So we have a route. Can we probably snapshot of undefined? What happens if we do this console uh, log this dot route? What do I get for this?
Alright, so... Yep, yeah, meetups will do that, man. So that's undefined, huh? Oh, you know what? Did I put this in a constructor for a reason? Apparently not. Let's go ahead and move this to entry on the net. to the truck payment felt the same so there's your first mistake dude you know what i drive i drive a three-cylinder 2015 mitsubishi mirage and granted i even made a mistake of buying it new um but that's what i drive what's moonlining it's essentially working outside of your job so they're saying that he is working outside his job I have a good one, scripties. It's what every single one of you should be doing in some fashion. Everyone needs to have a side hustle. I mean, the truth, the truth of the matter really is, is that if you are planning on someone else for your long-term financial stability and happiness, you're going to make a very... S you're going to have to make... Why don't you just get rid of the truck, dude? All right, so there's our defaults. All right. You owe too much to get rid of it. It's only going to continue to go down in value. So you've already lost that money. You should watch uh, Dave Ramsey, man. Might might enlighten you a little bit on some financial decisions. All right. So it. So what do we want to do? Uh, we want to make sure that it updates. Detail. So, first thing we need to do, we need to say mock activate route dot params dot. Excuse me, mock activate route. 
dot parent dot oh you know what uh, this is where I messed up I see now Sad thing is, you do watch Dave Ramsey, eh? Hey. Well. <laughs> Listening and following and learning are two different things. So hopefully, hopefully you've, you've uh, learned from your uh, your recent mistakes. <laughs> I live in Miami. No, I'm in the Tampa area. All right, so mock activator out dot parent does. Oh, uh, dot params of an object. We will have a topic ID. Race and then we'll have a let's go ahead and import this. Then we will have a detail ID and then we'll be I don't know, do map. All right, and Uh, any other storm heading to us? Not anymore. I don't think so. Component uh, inspect component dot detail dot to be truthy. Let's see what happens here. Can I read property get of undefined? All right, so. Expected null to be truthy, that's fine. Just got back from Tampa for a week. That should have been fun, I imagine. All right, cool. So now that we've done that, we should, in our update detail here, we should be able to say that this dot detail, you know, to expect mock detail service all right so actually what we want to check here is that our mock our mock activated route uh, our mock detail service dot cat Uh, last category simple ID to be in our case it's going to be we're just going to return the ID so that would be hey, sorry I didn't mean to like shoot you down like but no uh, sorry I'm just, I'm just trying to get this done
so that should be good. Alright, cool. And then we will... Alright, and then we will have last... Uh, detail simple ID. This should be array. And then this should... For last, oh, actually, I got that backwards. So, so this will be array, and then this will be map. No one seems to stream HTML. <laughs> uh, detail service. So let's take a lot of the same information from here. Async. Let's go to our mock header service. Call header. Uh, this dot last header equals header. All right. Expect mock header service. Last header. Let's say dot label to B. Let's jump back to our header here and we're going to pass in this dot detail. So, in our, forget all that, and what we'll actually do is do mock detail service dot last detail equals new detail we'll pass in an object the label being map and then we'll expect it to be map I think that should be good So that updates the header. And then we have to write a test that it updates the playlist. Alright, um, 
Alright. When would you use spies? Um, I mean, you can use spies a lot of times instead of mocks. Um, sometimes you have to, in the sense of when dealing with things like an alert or dealing with global functions or you know things like that. Let's see. Those tests weren't the best tests I've written, but they were. They should give us a little bit better test coverage on these files where I have an idea of where we're at. Alright, cool coverage. Copy path. All right, cool. So you see how I think we said that was what was it detail that we were working on? We increased it by fifty percent, and we could even do it better from where we're at. My goal is to have about eighty percent coverage, so. We'll continue to work on that. Um. <laughs> and you can see I didn't, there's, there's some additional lines I need to test. Just get them all out of the red for the time being. Uh, older technologies are going to get you paid less. They're going to be less in demand, and you're going to work at worse companies. So that's my thought on it. You're also going to be working with people who typically aren't up to date and are going to, you know, teach you some of the older and worse, oftentimes worse sort of thought processes. So I personally would stay away. All right, so let's do a couple more tests. The next worst one. Copy. Path. The next worst coverage was the offline online service, which I think I had an issue trying to test this. Maybe not though. Maybe I was just being lazy. I don't know. <laughs> uh, we'll do offline dash online dot service dot spec dot ts. It's not what I meant to do. Describe. All right. So 
So there's that. And now we need to... We should also do this. We should have done this. A offline dash online dots. Yes. Export abstract class mock uh, or excuse me, a offline online service. Say that this implements a offline only. And all it's going to have is an init. Hey, big boy! How's my big boy doing, huh? Ah, oh, oh, big pup. Big pup, where are you going? I'm just saying, don't don't think your team members are gonna get any better because most of the time, most people don't want to put any work in. Uh, okay. So we have a public net avoid. Yeah, he's he barks a little bit, not too much though. <laughs> It's not about starting somewhere, it's about effort. That's what I'm trying to get across is I have no problem with people being bad developers. I have a problem with people staying bad developers due to lack of effort. We all start off bad. I don't need this mock. All right. What do you do when your girlfriend wants to do something nice on your day off? What does that even mean? If you ain't got the money, you don't go out. If you need to, to study, you study, man. I don't, I don't know what to tell you. App component. I 
I thought I just created that, did I not? I seem exhausted. I'm feeling all right. Let's do this. There we go. That works. Seems like you have some special tricks. Uh, well, so this Luke John, I don't. So this is what what I would say is before I came to Florida, I told April that I was going to work every day for about for about five years. We're going in about three and a half. And so, like, I set expectations early on. Let me go ahead and rename this real quick, because this should be online this. Have a good one, man. But I, I sort of set expectations about what is expected. Um, and it, it causes problems from time to time. So what April and I have decided on is that on my days off, I spend one hour with her. It's not a lot of time, but like right now, right now I'm doing what I can to support us financially and support our goals. And it requires my full attention. Even something like this, this is something that is going to support our goals and our finances long term, but that does require sacrifice. So, and the sacrifice isn't just all on me. It's on her as well. And so, um, part of that is just making sure that we're on the same page and that we are Offline, online, off. I need to rename this. I think I just messed all this up. Friggin' font's too small over here. Uh. But yeah, so part of that is coming up with something that works for both of us. Which isn't an easy thing to do. And... There's been some bumps, but at the same time, we're... It's giving us the ability for me to, for instance, to let her go and do a nine month boot camp without working and get us to the next sort of career goal and get us to those life goals and, you know, paying a house off early and things like. So it's very easy to say, like, you know, we our money's fine. Well, money's fine. Yeah. And do I think you're going to leave me when money's not fine? No. That's But. Money is the number one reason people break up. Yeah, so what I say, what I say, Luke John, is I, so about every hour or two that I'm not like live stream, I go down, see if she's all right. I ask if she needs anything. And usually she doesn't need anything. If she does, I, I make sure to do it. I try to help around the house. 
So even though I'm working all day, minus that one hour I spend with her, I do do the dishes or I'll go take the dogs out, try to help her out. And, you know, the thing that I think helps, although maybe she would disagree, is just reminding her excessively about what the end goal is, about what it is that that we're trying to accomplish and how we're going to get there. So, all right. So we're going to say, because it doesn't feel like you're making progress in the moment. And it's sort of the same way with like learning to code, right? So like, it doesn't pay off until it does. And so like right now, as you're doing your thing, right? Right now, as you are, as you are um, grinding, it doesn't feel like you are, did I not do the same thing for this? Oh my God. All right, so right now it doesn't feel like you are accomplishing anything because it hasn't paid off yet. But that's just because you're, you know, you're still in the heat of things, right? You're still, you're still getting going. Eventually, you know, it will. And, you know, what I tell, what I tell April, so one of our goals is to eventually get closer to home, uh, move somewhere where it's cooler, have our house paid off early, things like that. And so, what I try to remind her of is that and I try to give her status updates of where we are financially where we are in this and that and doing that I, th I think uh, informs her of where we're where we're going for one and how we're getting there and so everyone's sort of on the same page So, um, the communication aspect, yeah, feels a little obvious at times, but really how you communicate and trying to put a little bit of time, an hour a day is all it takes, man. Let's forget where this goes. There we go. Also, one thing I would say, not to turn this into like Dylan's dating service or something, because honestly, I'm sure she'd be up here in a second to tell me about how stupid I am at certain things. Uh, <laughs> so, um, what I would say is that I forgot where I was going with that. I got distracted by it. I'm not seeing my dependency there. But yeah. Anyhow, you get my point.
How long have I been in tech? Um, from my internship about four plus years ago. Is it okay to put tutorial projects on your resume to fill it up? Yeah, if that's all you have, but we want to get away from that as soon as possible. Uh, so those tutorial projects are there as tutorial projects. Like, you want to get real production level applications out because that will be what will impress employers and that will be what will end up getting you a job and help help end up getting you a job and that's that honestly just be how you improve the most anyhow about two hours yeah let's call it let's call it quits here i'm gonna continue on with the testing probably off stream and there's a couple other things i want to clean up on but uh as always guys thank you so much for watching the uh stream don't forget to check out my courses the links are in the description below and i'll see you guys next time bye